arise and he that was dead sat up your problems are solved and began to speak and delivered him to his mother tonight a divine touch is coming upon you one a touch of recreation he will recreate you i said he will recreate you two a touch of reconciliation as he touches you tonight is a touch of love is a touch from heaven it will reconcile you to the heavenly father it will touch your soul and touch your spirit there's a touch of recreation there's a touch of reconciliation a touch of re-empowerment it will re-empower you tonight i said it will empower you tonight all weakness will vanish away frailty will vanish away drooping will vanish away and sluggishness will vanish away a touch of re-empowerment number four a touch of refining refining it happened to Isaiah he said I'm unclean and then the light cold touched him and all that was taken away tonight a touch of revitalization look at Daniel weak no strength and he couldn't stand up. He was lying down there. He said, to feel as if everything within me is into corruption. And the hand touched him. Revitalization came. It's coming tonight. And look at that boy, the only child of the mother, a widow, being carried out. And Jesus touched the coffin, a touch of resurrection. Resurrection. And then there's going to be a touch of reproduction. The Lord will reproduce something good in your life tonight. Nobody is living here empty-handed. You will touch the Lord and the Lord will touch you. In your soul, the Lord will touch you. In your spirit, the Lord will touch you. In your body, the Lord will touch you. And everything that is weary and weak, and it's like I can't move forward again, new strength and new power is coming tonight. And then Daniel said, now I can rise up. And he said, I rose up on my feet, and I said, I am strengthened. And I'm looking at you rising up upon your feet, and strength has come, and power has come, and authority has come. And he says, it's going to touch you tonight. You remember that what woman said? She said, if I may but touch the hem of his garment, I shall be made whole. Why don't you make up your mind tonight? Your part, all the various areas of touch, your lips, your mouth, your eyes, your ears, and it can touch your spirit, touch your soul, touch every part of you. And as it touches you tonight, there's going to be revitalization. There's going to be restoration. There's going to be recreation. And there is going to be resurrection. There is going to be reproduction. The Lord is touching you tonight. Open your mouth and tell the Lord, touch me, Lord. 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 Are you like Jacob? And there's an Esau that is after your life. Are you like Jacob? And there is a fear that has said it's like a spell upon your life. Are you like a Jacob? And it is like you're afraid of what might happen when you meet Esau. Let him touch you here tonight. And then you can go out with confidence and courage. You can go out in power. And you know, you know, because he has touched you, there's going to be reconciliation between you and Esau. Reconciliation between you and your husband. Reconciliation between you and your wife. That's what we're waiting for. A touch of the Lord. A touch of the Lord. A touch of the Lord. And reconciliation will come between Jacob and Esau. Between husband and wife. Between wife and husband. Between parents and children. Between leader and follower. A touch tonight. A touch tonight. A touch tonight. Elijah was weak. Elijah was discouraged. Elijah felt there's nothing in front. Elijah felt the ministry has come to an end. Elijah felt there's nothing to live for again. Let me die. Let me die. Let me die. But then a torch came and revival came. A torch came and renewal came. That torch is coming to you tonight. If you're discouraged, 
all you need is a touch. It's a touch. If you are down, all you need is a touch. If you are in despair, all you need is a touch. If you are thinking of ending life and ending ministry, all you need is a touch. If you are thinking of running away because a Jezebel is running after you, all you need is a touch tonight. It touches our souls. It touches our spirit. It touches our personality. It touches us at the point of weakness, at the point of being weary. It touches us. And when that touch comes upon you, revival will come. Renewal will come. Are you like Isaiah? Isaiah, unclean lips, unclean words, unclean thoughts, and you want to be free. And you are telling the Lord, I'm a man of unclean lips, a woman of unclean thoughts, and I dwell in the midst of unclean people. I don't appreciate all these unclean things coming to me, coming my way. I want to be clean. I want to be pure. I want to be refined. I want to be holy. I want to be circumcised in my heart through and through. I want a refinement in my soul, in my spirit, in my body, in my language, in my words. A touch of the coal of fire will refine you tonight, will reform you tonight, and will revive you tonight, and purify you tonight, and sanctify you tonight. Strength will be reproduced in you. Power will be reproduced in you. Are you like Jeremiah? I cannot talk. I'm shy. I'm fearful. The people you send me to, they're like, they're like giants. I'm like a grasshopper. I'm afraid to talk to them. I feel little. I feel small. I feel childish. I feel poor. I feel incapable. I feel I cannot do anything. It says it's touching your mouth tonight. And he puts the word in your mouth. It and he puts the word in your mouth. A touch, a touch, a touch that will bring reassurance. A touch that will bring righteousness. A touch that will bring power. A touch that will bring courage. A touch that will bring confidence. Let him touch you tonight. Let him touch you tonight. Touch your soul. Touch your spirit. Touch your body. That woman at the sick. Blood flowing out ceaselessly for 12 years. She had become emaciated, weak, unclean, unacceptable, was not beautiful again to the family. But she said, there is still solution, and the solution is in a touch. She heard of Jesus, Jesus the healer, Jesus the deliverer, Jesus, the Redeemer, and Jesus, the power of God in man. Jesus, who is able to change everything in her life. She heard of Jesus, Savior, Healer, Deliverer, Master, King of Kings, Lord of Lords. She heard of Jesus. And then faith came in her. If I may touch, but his garment. If I can only touch his garment tonight, I shall be made whole. He's still healing the sick today. He's still delivering the oppressed today. He's still the miracle worker today. Jesus anointed of the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good, healing all, healing all, healing all that were oppressed of the devil. For God was with him. 
and still the same. God says, I'm God, I change not. And Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. It will touch you tonight, and then you're made whole. It's a touch of recovery. A touch of recovery. And he wants to give you that recovery tonight. A touch of restoration. He will restore you tonight. Every strength you have lost. Every virtue you have lost. All the courage you have lost. All the confidence you have lost. It's a night of the touch of recovery. A touch of restoration. He will bring you back to fellowship. Your back's leading, come and touch him. Touch his love. Touch his mercy. Touch his goodness. Touch his grace. Receive the grace of God. There'll be a touch of restoration. There'll be a touch of renewal. A touch of renewal. You renew your commitment. You will renew your consecration. You will renew your determination. You will renew the strength, inner strength in you. Give you regeneration. New birth. New life. Righteousness. A touch of reassurance. Well, that touch, it tells you, you are mine, I am yours. You are mine, I am yours. A touch of righteousness, a touch of refreshing. A touch of refreshing. A touch of refreshing. Things are going to be different in your life after tonight. Touch him, and he's touching you now. Touch him, and he's touching you now. Something that never happened before will happen. Something incomparable, it will happen. Something irresistible, it will happen. Something irreplaceable, it will happen. You'll not want to exchange the experience of tonight. You're not going to exchange it for anything else in your life. An indispensable miracle. An irreversible miracle. An incomprehensible miracle. An indispensable miracle. That's why you are here tonight for a divine touch. Touch him and he will touch you. Touch him and he will touch you. Say, Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. You are no respecter of persons. Lord, I believe. Faith without works is dead. Faith without action is dead. Faith without confession is dead. Faith without the right attitude is dead. Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. Do it in my life tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. <laughs> Children of God, conquerors and overcomers, in Jesus' name we pray. You have touched him. He has touched you. Don't worry about how you feel or what you feel. Don't worry about what you sense or what you don't sense. He has promised he cannot fail. His power cannot fail. His promise cannot fail. His grace cannot fail. And a supernatural action cannot fail. You have touched him tonight and he has touched you. He touched me. He touched me. Where are you? He touched me. Where are you? He touched me. Where are you? He touched me. That touch will be effectual tonight. Father, in Jesus' name, 
your father to Jesus our Lord, your father to every one of us. You love everyone. Your mercy is for everyone. Your power is for everyone. Your grace is for everyone. And the divine touch tonight is for everyone. Lord, I rejoice with all your people. Your people will never be the same again in Jesus' name. Touch their soul. Draw them nearer unto yourself. Break down the wall of partition between any sinner and yourself tonight in Jesus' name. Give every sinner a touch of grace, a touch of love, a touch of mercy, a touch of reconciliation, a touch of salvation. Save them in Jesus' name. Give them assurance, a touch of reassurance that now they belong to you. They are saved in Jesus' name. Every backslider, give them a touch of your love, a touch of receiving them, a touch of reconciliation, a touch of restoration. Let them feel your love in their hearts tonight in Jesus' name. Whisper to their ears by your spirit, I am yours and you are mine. Lord, I pray they'll be partakers of abundant grace and forgiveness tonight in Jesus' name. All your children, brothers and sisters, young and old, I pray for them now. I'm asking, Lord, your children who are feeling weak, who are feeling weary, who are feeling tired, who are feeling, uh, can I go on, can I not go on? Touch them tonight in Jesus' name. A touch of power, a touch of the supernatural, a touch of strength, a touch of refining, and a touch of renewal, and a touch of resurrection. Do it in their lives in Jesus' name. Lord, nobody ever was sick and went back from you. The same still sick, impossible. Tonight, there's healing for everyone. There's deliverance for everyone. Whatever, whatever, whatever the problem, blind eyes, Deaf ears, withered hands, kidney that is not functioning, and any part of the body that is not working, appendicitis, impotence, whatever. Touch everyone tonight in Jesus' name. Long standing sickness, 12 years of sickness, 38 years of sickness. 40 years of paralysis. Lord, touch everyone tonight in Jesus' name. Those who are weak, those who are impotent, those who are paralyzed, those who are lying down helplessly anywhere and everywhere now, give them a touch. Raise them up. And anything that is dead, not functioning in their body, let the power of resurrection come with that touch in Jesus' name. Our children who have forgetful memory, like the brain is dead, and they are not able to perform like we expect as parents. Lord, I pray, revive their brains tonight. Touch their brains tonight. Quicken their brains tonight. And those subjects they are not able to understand, as to quicken them and make their brains alive, they will understand. Their grades will come higher. Their results will come higher. 
I pray for anyone that is having forgetful memory. We are getting old, and because we're old, I can't remember that. I can't remember that. Oh Lord, touch the old people, elderly people tonight in Jesus' name. The sicknesses anyone has taken to the hospital to doctors and it's like we're just uh, going uh, read my role and there has been no healing healing tonight deliverance tonight power tonight authority tonight send forth your word of power and healing heal everyone tonight in jesus name take sorrow away from every life infirmity away from every life Lord, once again, make tonight an unforgettable night of touch. Touch your people. As they touch you, and as they are going out, they go out with their miracles. Indisputable miracle. Incomparable miracle. Irresistible miracle incomprehensible miracle an irreversible miracle irreplaceable miracle indisputable indispensable do it in every life right now put testimony in every mouth thank you lord because we know you have done it in jesus name i pray Praise the Lord, the Lord has answered the prayer for you.